Today, we're going to see how to find the nth roots of a complex number. In the same way as a positive real number will always have two square roots, a non-zero complex number will always have n nth roots. The best way to do this is to look at an example. So let's suppose we are trying to find the fourth roots of the number 8 root 2 plus 8 root 2i, and then we show these roots on an Argand diagram. This is equivalent to solving the equation z to the power 4 is equal to 8 root 2 plus 8 root 2i. Well, first of all, let's start with z equals r cos theta plus brackets i sine theta which is the same as r e to the i theta. This tells us that z to the 4 is De Moivre's theorem r to the 4 cos 4 theta plus i sine 4 theta. Or we can write that if we want as r to the 4 e to the i 4 theta. Well, this is now in modulus argument form, so it suggests really that we should put 8 root 2 plus 8 root 2i into modulus argument form. So let's look for the modulus first of all. Modulus of 8 root 2 plus 8 root 2i is 8 root 2 times the modulus of 1 plus i which is 8 root 2, square root of 1 plus 1, being a bit tedious. 8 root 2 times root 2 is 16. And the argument of 8 root 2 plus 8 root 2i, we can find that quite quickly just by looking at a diagram. 8 root 2 plus 8 root 2, same amount out as we go up. The angle, therefore, must be pi by 4. So the argument of 8 root 2 plus 8 root 2i is pi by 4. This tells us that we can write 8 root 2 plus 8 root 2i as 16 cos pi by 4 plus i sine pi by 4. Well now, let's put steps 1 and 2 together. z to the 4 equals 8 root 2 plus 8 root 2i becomes, well, z to the 4 is r to the 4 cos 4 theta plus i sine 4 theta. Let's make that 4 just a little bit better. And that has to be equal to 16 cos pi by 4 plus i sine pi by 4. Well, r is a positive real number. And if we look at these two expressions, we see that r to the 4 has to be 16. And the only solution for that is that r is 2. r is a modulus. It must be a positive real number. If we now look at the argument of both sides, we also get that 4 theta has to be equal to pi by 4. But this argument, pi by 4, is only by choice. There's pi by 4. We could easily measure the argument as pi by 4 plus 2 pi. And that's 9 pi by 4. Or we could add another 2 pi. 17 pi by 4. Add another 2 pi, you get 25 pi by 4. If you carry on, you'll find that you just start repeating yourself when you divide through by 4. 
Now, divide that equation by 4. Theta is pi by 16, or 9 pi by 16, or 17 pi by 16, or 25 pi by 16, which I suppose we ought really to write between minus pi by 2, minus pi and pi, pi by 16, or 9 pi, 9 not 19, or minus 15 pi by 16, or minus 7 pi by 16. Now we have that the fourth roots are Z1, let's say, is R, which is 2 e to the i pi by 16, which is 2 cos pi by 16 plus i sine pi by 16, or z2 is 2e to the i 9 pi by 16. And there are all four roots. We were asked to show these on an argand diagram. And here they are. Notice that your four roots are nice and symmetrical all the way around. Four roots, the angle will be pi by two or 90 degrees between each root. It's a sort of four type, fourfold plus or minus. So fourth roots, four roots. You will always expect to get n roots when you're looking for nth roots. I do not like the technique in the book. The technique in the book is perhaps one line shorter, but is basically a magic formula which allows you to write these down with very little logic behind it. It's possible, obviously, to prove it, yes, but the justification is what I did anyway at the top here. In order to use the technique in the book, you would still have to write your number in modulus argument form. You would still have to find these angles here, or in that form between minus pi and pi. The only line, really, that's missing is this one. And this is the logic which allows you to carry on. Your argument is pi by 4. Pi by 4 is where the blue line is. That argument could be expressed as pi by 4 plus 2 pi. That's 9 pi by 4. Plus another 2 pi. Or plus another 2 pi. Or to keep on going as far as you need. Fourth roots, you will need four answers. So please don't use the method in the book. I know that it works. I also know that quite frequently people who do use the method in the book then find when they come to do revision papers two or three months later that they have forgotten how to do it. People who have learnt a method where you can see the logic as you go through it are more likely to remember how to get the answer.